My name is Anas Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can get the length of a string and how we can work with that length. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. So let's get started. We want to have a, an input dialog. So go to activities and search for input dialog like this. Drag this guy in. So we want to ask the user. This could be something like uh, string test. That's the title. And then the label, we will ask the user to input a string, please, like this. And then in the result, uh, press Control K and create a variable, str test. So this is the variable that the user types in. It will get stored here in the str test. Go down to variables, we can see it here. We change the variable type to string, like this. And now we created an input dialog. So let's just, uh, first we'll just get the length. So find a message box. Uh, message box, like this, and drag it in here. And what we'll do is that we'll take the variable str test and then simply just type length. So this one will give us the length. Run the file. And we can say Anders, so that's six, and it worked. We can even see that if we type five or four, it would it would it would obviously also work. So say that we want to work with the length, we want to compare it to something, then we can drag in an if. Uh, let me drag it in here, and we can ask that if str test dot length is greater than five. And we can have a message box. Let me delete this one and find a new one, or we could have copied it in. So we want to have a message box here saying that uh, the string is longer than five characters. And uh, equally so, we'll have a uh, the string is not longer than five characters. So now we ask the user for a string and then we can evaluate it down here. Let's see it here. And instead of typing in andles, we could just type in and, and we can see that we click OK, the string is not longer than five characters. And of course, if we typed in andles, it would, we wouldn't end up here. And uh, having the string is longer than five characters. So that's it for today. Now you learned how you can get the length of a string and work with it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. Have a good day. Bye-bye.